Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about how to change the visor and the sun visor on a Shark Evo GT and the Shark Evo ES. Okay, first things first, the Evo GT and the Evo ES are very, very slightly different in the way the visors are mounted to the helmet, but the technique for changing the visor is exactly the same on both. It focuses around this triangular insert on the side here. So I'll show you on the Evo GT. I'll move the ES out of the way. Show you on the GT, and the same applies across this. And also, if you've got an older uh, Evo 1 2, then the same technique applies to that. Now, there are two ways of doing it. On Shark's video for the Evo GT, they suggest you use a screwdriver. So lift the visor, put a screwdriver just in there, try and sort of prise that tab away, which works. You just push and pivot away. But I'm not a big fan of that method because this metal screwdriver just gradually chips away at the plastic on that tab. You can kind of see it eroding it. So I prefer a method which is actually what Shark described for the Evo ES for the other helmet. And it's about applying pressure to that plastic tab there. They suggest doing it with a metal screwdriver, which causes exactly the same problems I was thinking. So I'd rather do it with some plastic and I found that a Bic Biro is actually a pretty neat way of doing it. So get the lid end of the Bic Biro, apply that pressure to the plastic tab. You've got to put quite a bit of pressure in there to force it in. And then again, just pull, but you've got to pull quite hard and it will come free. It comes free at both the bottom and the top. So we'll repeat on the other side. Get the screwdriver out of the way. So push and pull. to do that with my right hand it does take quite a bit of force and away that comes in terms of refitting it much simpler this hook on the top of the visor attaches into the top of this runner into there and then and then you just push this until the plastic tab clicks back into its seat so that's clicked in repeat on the other side sometimes you might just want to move this runner a little bit to get that into its guide so hook that top part into there like that and then just push that plastic tab until it seals and that's seated in so give that a quick check that's fine okay so that's the main visor now let's switch to the sun visor it's a little bit more complicated lift the chin bar put that over the back to get that out of the way visors up and out of the way so sun visor lowered first job is to just get hold of each side and pull the edges clear of their mountings so just pull that away on each side. Now there's a hook. So I'm just going to protect the helmet. Tip this upside down. And then we just pull the visor down to reveal the hook and tab that's under here. Hopefully the close-up will show you what I mean because this one can be a little bit of a pig. Just get this plastic pick in there. Push it away and the visor's off. So this hook here just pushes on a tab on the bottom of that strap that goes through the helmet. Again, sharks say use a metal screwdriver. If you're really careful, that'll be fine, but I've got a plastic pick, so I just use that in the hope that it's gonna make it less likely to scratch the visor. So when we come to put it back, we just reverse the procedure. We put this side in first, just push it into its runner, which you'll see between the shell and the EPS. Push that until it clicks. That's home. Do the same on the other side of the helmet, just here. Push that in, that's now at home. Make sure the switch is fully forward and then you'll be able to see the bottom of that strap that runs through the helmet and then position it inside that hook that you'd have seen on the visor and then just push this back into place with your screwdriver or your pick. Now just check that it's functioning properly. It is, so that's all fine. Visor's running as it should, put the chin bar back over, and that is how you replace the main visor and the sun visor on a Shark Evo GT. And as I said, it's the same procedure on an Evo ES and also on the older Evo 1 2. Thanks for watching.